I was probably about 16 years old. There was about a week in my life where my mom and I didn't have a lot to eat, and so she actually stole some potatoes um, from her place of employment, and we actually lived off potato soup for about eight or nine days. But during that time, she would say, now I don't want you to forget, you know, employees have needs, just like we're having this need right now, and you know, you, you always need to be there for your employees, and they'll always be there for you. As I grew and we started Aegis, I wanted something that fit that need, that would help employees during this extreme type of, of need and I'm, I'm proud to say that the Potato Soup Foundation has, has done that and we've helped um, many, many people during, this, during their times of need. My husband was laid off. At the same time, he started having heart problems. He went to see the doctor and he needed to have an urgent uh, triple bypass surgery. A uh, younger daughter um, was going uh, to UCSC um, in Santa Cruz and um, we needed to make those payments for school so everything was going wrong, everything was bad and uh, we thought that she was going to have to quit school. I went camping with my boyfriend and two days later I got a call. He asked me if he was talking to Victoria Caldwell and he says, I am so glad I'm talking to you right now because we thought you were dead. And I told him I didn't understand. My house was just totally destroyed. The windows were broken. All my stuff was broken. There was blood everywhere. One of the guys is really high on some kind of drug that when you reach a certain um, high, they like to break glass. I was renting the house, and I didn't have any insurance. So basically, I lost everything. Well, my mom had diabetes, and she used to go through dialysis three times a week. She decided that she didn't want to suffer anymore, so she stopped with dialysis, and she died uh, a week after. And I didn't know anything about, like, funeral costs, or I didn't really, like, look into it until we got down to that day that we needed to bury her and that we needed to come up with money on the spot. And we're an organization of people helping people. When we can do that for a staff, that's, that's really a great thing, and I think that's what, that's what my mom was, that's the message she was trying to convey to me. There's just so many um, opportunities to help, and that's, that's why this is such an important, important cause for us. When, when we received that help from the Potato Soup Foundation, it was like light at the end of the tunnel, and um, we really, everything started changing after that. Our daughters uh, graduated last month from UCSC with double major. Uh, my husband had a job. He's healthy now. He looks much better. And, uh, and I was promoted. It wasn't even a day later they were there with the Potato Soup Foundation to help me. I'm glad that I'm working for a community that is able to help because I know if I'd probably be working somewhere else it probably won't be the same. Um, they give back as much as we give back to them by helping them. Even if people just give it a small amount, you know, $50, $100, it makes such a huge, huge difference with these people in their lives. And it's just, it's just a way that you can give back and for these people who do so much for us day in and day out. It's, it's hard to explain. You're, it's just gratitude. It's, you, I can't thank them enough. This is a company that we can count on whenever we need help. And I think my mom would be very, very proud of how this has unfolded, um, how that conversation over eight or nine days has spread to help, you know, tons and tons of people and families and, and help people that have had very difficult situations have some peace. And so um, I think my mom would be very proud of the Potato Soup Foundation.